Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Have you ever wanted to process a whole bunch of uh, audio files and add effects? Well, that's what we're going to have a look at in Adobe Audition. Shout out goes to Yorsiko for this uh, request on how to batch export multiple files. Adobe Audition is for editing audio files. It can edit them, it can add effects, but it also has the ability to apply effects to a bunch of files. And the effects can be saved as a favorite. So if you have an operation of several effects and then you want to apply them to a whole bunch of files, it's so easy. Let's go have a look. So you can see I've got a bunch of files here. The first thing I'm going to do is create a favorite. In the favorites, I'm going to choose Start Recording Favorite. And I get a prompt telling me a favorite is currently being recorded. You have to remember to stop recording uh, the favorite by going to the favorites, stop recording a favorite. But it basically, it lets you record one or more operations in the waveform editor as a single command. You can tell it not to show it again. I'll click OK. I'm going to add an adaptive noise. And I'll just choose light noise. I'm also going to add the dynamics processing at minus 12 dB. And then I'm going to hit apply and stop. Stop recording favorite. So I'll call this um, no noise and minus 12 dB. Click OK. And in my history, I'm going to go back to open. And you can see that's where we were and that's open. I'm just going to do that so that I clean this file up. I had to, to uh, process this file just to save that favorite, but now I want to go back to scratch. OK, next operation is to take all of those clips, all the dialogue clips, drop them into batch, choose the favorite, and then choose an export format. I'm just going to resize my window a bit here. And in the window menu, choose batch process. And I get a prompt asking me to drag supported files into it. So I'll select all of these files, shift select them, and drag them in. Now they're ready to be processed. And you'll notice up at the top, I can choose favorites. And there's a bunch here that are already done, like run a de -er, or fade in and out, or hard limit. Um, lower the pitch, there's mine, no noise, minus 12 dB. Normalize, raise pitch, remove 60 cycle hum, remove the vocals. Um, run a telephone voice a lot. So I'm just going to choose our no noise and export is turned on and I'll click on the export options. If export wasn't turned on, if I click run, it's just going to process these files inside the bin, but I want to process them and export them out. So click on the export settings and I can choose to change the name so I could maybe add minus 12 dB to the, to the front of this. I can also use a predefined template um, on how it's going to name this particular file. So I'm just going to call this um, my fix. And I'll choose a location for this in my test file. And then I have the option of uh, having the same location as the source file, overwrite existing files if I want, and the export format. So if I wanted something a little bit more high quality, maybe I'd go to WAV format. This is the source is indicating that these are the source is set to 44.1, and you can see up here uh, the source is actually. Uh, 48. So I'll change that. And what I could do is I can use some of these presets up at the top. Um, I can also convert, but basically I'll go back to 48 
and the channels I'm going to leave the same. I could change the uh, overall bit depth. Let's go back to 24. Click OK. So that's the format. That's the sample type. And that's the new sample type. So you can see that right there. I've kept the same 24-bit 48K. I can also remove the files from the panel upon completion. This is just great to clean things up. If I want to export these out and I don't have to get confused that I already run those, as they're getting done, they're getting spit out on the other side. I can tell it to close the files on completion and include any markers or other metadata. Let's run this. I'll click OK and then I'll click the run command. So as it's going, oh. <laughs> I was about to tell you what it was doing. That's how freaking fast Adobe Audition was. It just spit those files out. Let's bring them back in. So I'm gonna double click in this area and let's jump into the test files. There they are, click on them. And all of them are now processed. That's how easy it is. And with any of the effects in here from all of the amplitude and compression, delay, um, or filter, EQ, you name it, lots of different things in here that you could add, that addition will go and process all of those. You can get as crazy as you want with that favorite. And remember that favorite is there all the time. So if you have a specific thing you always like to apply, record a favorite, leave it in there and apply it. Okay. So there you go. Hopefully you found this informative. And if you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us a little bit more, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you sounding and looking.